All right, so here we have a 787 RV cover plate to resurface. Um, this doesn't look too bad, right? You can see some circular score marks and the original vertical um, marks that they put in these plates. So it is worn some, but the reason we're doing this is to put this plate back into a flat plane so i can tell you from doing these that they're always worn low around the ports especially out here at this thin section because the force of the flow on the compression stroke when these close is is pushing that metal valve plate against here and that's where you're going to wear out the aluminum so the surface needs to have the right clearance but the tolerance on the flatness is plus or minus two thousands all right so we're going to show you the customer wanted to know here just how bad this plate was so we're going to show you so that's the low spot there we're going to indicate this in and you can see as we get away from that low spot I don't know if you can read this, but that's twenty-five thousands, okay. And here, this low, this this spot's low too, not as bad, but still about ten thousands low. And it should be within two thousands, okay. So we've got low spots. These areas here probably aren't worn as much, where you're away from the port. And then it's low at the ports. And that's where you're going to leak because that RV plate isn't going to seal there. That's 25 thousandths. That's well over 10 times out of spec. So the whole point here is to get that in a nice flat plane. All right, so you can see the, the low areas here. It didn't clean up yet so we'll have to take another pass maybe two and we'll get everything in a plane all right so after three passes we've uh, pretty much taken our 25 thousandths off and you can see the lowest spots are cleaned up everything is in a flat plane And that's what we're going for so we also need to make sure that this distance from the seating flange to the face is correct so we get the right clearance between the valve plate and the engine cases which should be 12 thousandths clearance plus or minus two and to do that we'll we'll cut this back this flange seating surface the right amount and then we'll finally enlarge the depth of the o-ring groove by the amount required based on how much we've taken off here well we actually have that spec it's in the manual for 787 it's 72 thousandths o-ring depth okay this is just about done